let's move on to safety. Now, um, it seems like there's probably aren't not going to be, well, take however you want to take it. I'm probably focused on the backups here, but Waruna, what are you looking at here with the uh, safety battles? Um, I don't see real battles over here because basically I think this is some area that we have already solid. So the cornerbacks were the major concern. So, I mean, we already have some solid uh, safeties and they have a lot of confidence. That's what we saw with Jimmy Ward interview. He believes he's the best in the business. So I think uh, most of the time this will be an area uh, all our starters would be okay and there wouldn't be a too much battle going into the season. This is where I think the, the loss of Tarverius Moore really plays in is the free safety battle. It's a one-man battle for right now. Jared Maiden as the backup free safety. And I know, Grant, you like Jared Maiden. You mentioned him last year as possible nickelback option. I do, yeah. Yeah, and so right now, is there any competition for him at free safety if Jimmy Ward were to go down? It, That's it a would great probably... point. No, I mean, really, he is the most like Jimmy Ward on the roster, Jared Maiden, a guy who's played a little nickelback in corner. If, yeah, so if Jimmy Ward goes down, and they either have to move Jaquaski Tart to free safety and play Tavon Wilson, Tony Jefferson, whoever they want over there, or Hufunga, or they mm -hmm. need Jared Maiden to really step up. So that's the thing I, I'm Jared most curious about this preseason is to see if Jared Maiden can take on that role, also provide depth as the backup nickelback, because as we saw last year, K1 Williams' health is also sometimes an issue. They need Maiden to make this roster. They need him to grab hold of that Tarverius Moore role that was vacated. Great point. Yeah, I agree with Mav. Um, I think <clears throat> this is probably where, you know, our starters are, you know, definitely situated, you know, um, as far as with um, our safeties, not only being definite starters, but elite level starters as well at safety. And it's just about where those um, backups are going to gonna fit in, not just because of who's the best player, but who's going to be the best fit for the, the styles that these um, safeties play, because they do have two very distinctive styles that are important to the way that the defense plays. Um, the only thing that may change things is if for some reason a guy like Jimmy Ward does go down, maybe they change the, the, the way that the defense plays overall with a brand new um, defensive coordinator. Maybe they get a little more aggressive where they're not having their safeties cover as much um, like Jimmy Ward tends to have to do um, across the middle and so on and so forth. But um, right now, I think it's more about how they're going to how the backups are actually going to fit the styles versus um, who's actually going to, you know, be that first guy off the bench type of thing. Good answer. Yeah, I, I think everybody um, kind of covered it. I, you know, the person I'm really um, excited to see how they fit in is Talanoa Hafenga. I think he's going to have some spot duty here or there. Um, I think, you know, early down situations, they might try to get him in the box on the field. And I think we, he can surprisingly come in and, probably see some action a little bit more than we're anticipating. I just think he's such a physical player that, um, you know, you can almost line him up at outside linebacker on passing down. So I just think he has that type of physicality. So I think eventually he's going to get onto the field a lot sooner than people anticipate. Yeah, I mean, that's interesting. Mavs focused on the backup free safety spot, which is clever. I was more thinking about the backup strong safety spot um, because you just don't know what your Kwaski tar. He's missed a lot of games. So if he goes down again, who replaces him? Is it Hafanga, uh, the, the late fifth round pick? Is it Tony Jefferson, who's coming off a torn ACL and hasn't really done much in a couple of years? Or is it someone who's not on the roster? Uh, that's an interesting question, too. It could be Jimmy Ward with Jared Maiden going to free safety. I don't know, but it seems like that's a question as well. Uh, losing to various more hurt did. Um, I think Thomas one thing to there. keep an eye on here, this is a position where you can keep an eye on them adding somebody that gets cut here at the end of preseason. I there. think this is really definitely a position where we could use, you know, a veteran from another team once those final roster cuts are made. Good call. Real quick, uh, Camelot's Red and Gold says there's talk Xavier Howard upset and not getting paid. We should try to make a move for him and we'll be straight with him and Verrett. Here's the thing real quick. Um, very expensive. You'd have to give up big time picks, first round picks. Niners don't have them. Plus, he's got three years left on his deal and is disgruntled. He wants an extension now with three years left on his deal. He's coming off like a, a year where he had nine picks, eight picks. He wants all the money. 
Um, not exactly an expensive, a, a cheap move. I don't think the Niners are going to go this route, although he's great. 